Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about transpiration. We're going to see what this means and the different factors that affect it as well. So essentially, all that transpiration means is water loss from a plant. So we're going to see how uh, on this plant here, where transpiration is affecting it. So first of all, we have the idea of evaporation of water occurring. So within the leaves, the, at the bottom of the leaves, there's these tiny pores called stomata. And so water evaporates and diffuses out of all of these leaves. So that's the first step in the transpiration process. Now, as water is lost from the leaves, it causes water to be drawn up through tubes called xylem to replace the water lost from leaves. So I'll just show that right now. So some water will be drawn up that way. Others will be drawn up that way. And same on the other side as well. So as the water diffuses out, it causes more water to be drawn up through the xylem. Remember, xylem are just tubes that water travels through. Also, mineral ions which are dissolved within the water. So, again, as water is drawn up, more water, this causes more water to be absorbed into the roots. So the third process in this is absorption. So as that water gets drawn up through the plant, through the xylem vessels, more water is absorbed into the roots from the water within the soil. Now this whole process just is an ongoing process and it's called a transpiration stream. So it's just a constant stream of water which leaves the leaves drawn up through the xylem and water drawn in through the roots. This keeps on going and going and going. Now there's different factors which can affect the rate of transpiration. Um, so first of all if we have a high light intensity, intensity, sorry, if we have a high light intensity, we're going to have more transpiration. Now, the reason for that is, I briefly mentioned before, stomata in the underside of the leaves. So those are just little holes that allow the water vapour to diffuse out. Now, if it's lighter, the stomata are open, which means more water can be lost through the leaves, therefore a faster rate of transpiration. Secondly, a high temperature. Now the reason for that is, if there's a high temperature, the, part of, um, the water particles have more energy to evaporate and diffuse out of the stomata. So the higher the temperature, the higher the energy of the particles, Therefore, the faster the rate of tram transpiration. Now, the final one we need to talk about is having a high degree of airflow. So, for example, it being quite windy. Now, the reason for this is if there's water around here, so the water vapour surrounding the leaf, we want that cleared out of the way as much as possible. Because if there's um, a high concentration in the leaf, and a very low concentration of water outside the leaf, then there's going to be more diffusion of water out. So if we've got air constant, sorry, if we've got wind constantly removing the water vapor just outside the leaf, then our level of diffusion out of the leaf is going to be greater. Therefore, our rate of transpiration is going to be better. Now, the way that I always remember the you know these conditions is it's an ideal day to dry your clothes on the line. So for example, it's, it's a nice light day, a sunny day, high temperature, and a lot of airflow, your clothes are gonna dry quickly. And these are the exact same conditions that give a good fast rate of transpiration as well. Thank you.